welcome back to another episode of Summer, Summer Shredding here on my YouTube channel. I'm Shantae Marie. I'm a lifestyle vlogger and I like to show you guys every aspect of my life here on my channel. So if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button now so that you can continue to watch more videos like this one. Um, we are going to be grilling because for some reason the bipolar weather of Kansas decided to not be insane today and it actually ended up being really nice even though it was super cold this morning. So I have some chicken. This chicken we're going to grill. I got home late from the grocery store last night and didn't get to meal prep like I wanted to but that doesn't mean that it's not happening. It's just going to happen today and I also am about to give my dogs these treats. I found these at the grocery store. It says they're Frosty Paws. It's protein, like peanut butter ice cream. So I'm like, you guys were good today, so I'm gonna let you have some. Okay, so these are the seasonings that we're going to be using. It's just like salt, pepper. Uh, this is the bomb.com. I don't really know where I got this from. I think this was a gift, honestly, but it's literally called the all-in-one grilling rub. And then I always put cilantro basically on everything, but if you are counting macros, like seriously, this does, this, this is something that you would need to count. All right, I also made some just peppers. I wanted to grill those, sounds really good to me. And hopefully this is gonna go smoothly and not take forever. Here is the completed grilling sesh. Tomorrow. eating breakfast right here yeah it's really good it's like um some sort of egg taco thing with sausage and some cheese and we finished a leg workout today unfortunately i tried to wake up to be at the gym at five but i didn't get there till almost 5 30 so we haven't finished cardio yet today still have to do that um, but I wanted to show you guys what i was eating i appreciate you for tuning into this video if you're new Hit the subscribe button to see more footage like this and I think later today I'm going to have a chit chat with you about just what's been going on with my heartburn and weight fluctuation and how that has been impacting this summer shred season so far because it's been really rough just so you guys know as in I've been struggling so I'm going to talk to you guys about that 
after cardio got home tonight. From work and I got really excited because I checked my email and I saw that this package came in. I did pick up the summer shredding hoodie. So we about to see what this is about. I'm gonna tell you guys it like I'm gonna just show it to you and show you how it fits. Now, okay, if I am wearing a unisex shirt or hoodie i usually get a medium just because i try to think of it in the sense of okay they're making this for like males and females i guess so normally a medium works for me um if this would have been a female hoodie i would have gotten a large because i do not like the female cut or the female fit on anything and these hoodies did say on the website that they were supposed to be like like a big hoodie I don't know how they exactly titled it but it definitely did not say that it was a fitted hoodie uh so yeah I'm gonna open it and try it on and I'll show you guys what it looks like all right so this is what the hoodie looks like I'm not gonna lie I'm a little disappointed my dog is drinking so don't judge me uh it looks like this M is already kind of peeling off a little bit but to be honest like, this is something that I feel like you're not going to be able to dry the hoodie because that's going to completely come off at some point. But also the biggest disappointment is I, for real, I for real thought the back was going to have like that proud but never satisfied or proud but not satisfied logo thing on it because Christian was wearing the hoodie in his video and it had it on there. So when I went to order it, I did like... I thought it was weird that they didn't have a picture of the back of the hoodie, but this freaking explains why. So I'm just really confused because I'm like, it's summer shredding and I feel like it should there should have been a t-shirt too, but I'm more disappointed in the fact that yes, we got a discount on this hoodie and it ended up only being $19.50. But after paying the tax for shipping and handling for it to get to my house, I still ended up paying $25.50 for a hoodie that's literally black with a freaking logo on it that isn't even like embroidered. Honestly, I thought I thought the word classic was at least embroidered, and it's not. It just looks like it is. So whatever, I just spent $25 on a hoodie, like, I literally could have went to the Under Armour where I live and got a brand name hoodie for that, but it's cool, I just hope they come out with t-shirts or something, and something, like, a little better quality, because the pants, I have leggings and the joggers from them, and they are literally so good of quality that they are, like, they're better than Nike or Under Armour or anything that I've ever purchased. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'm like, the next time that those leggings are online, I'm literally buying like every color. So this hoodie's a disappointment, but I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, honestly, I wish I would have gotten a large instead my unisex theory didn't go as planned i guess because it is a little bit like the sleeves are short on me i'm disappointed like i should i send this back i waited i waited too long i feel like i should send it back um because the sleeves are short on me and i like my hoodies to be like comfy like oversized like oh let me cuddle up and watch a movie and whatever and I also wear them to the gym when I'm doing cardio so that I can sweat more but I'm not going to be able to dry this hoodie ever even though it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester I think but if I dry this hoodie it's a wrap like it's done Later. all right you guys so I had to make somewhat of a makeshift Stop! Somewhat of a makeshift little camera mount thingy. And basically, I'm just gonna sit here and tell you guys what's been going on. So, I started summer shredding when it was allowed to start, I suppose. I uploaded my video, everything was fine, and I started working out. Now, granted, I have always worked out. Um, I just kind of was really slacking compared to how I was about two years ago. And that's because when you're deployed, it's just so much easier to only focus on the gym because you have nothing else to do besides work. So I was hitting the gym like twice a day while I was deployed. Now, 
when I came home, I still hit the gym consistently and I was just really finding myself and finding out like what I wanted to do in life. And I ended up being okay for a while, but then the last few months, well, the last year actually has been just up and down. I've been trying to get on full time with the National Guard and doing all of these things that kept me busy. So it was hard for me to go to the gym. Like I bought a house, I started a new career. I went back to being act active duty for the guard. So I have been working temporarily with the guard and was able to focus more on my fitness because uh, if you work full time in the guard, they actually designate time during the day for you to work out. So I started getting back into it. Summer, shredded, summer shredding came upon us and I signed up for it. Now, I posted the video about me going to the hospital because of my heartburn. So they put me on omeprazole, I believe is what it's called. And it's basically the prescribed version of Prilosec. Now, if you go to the store and you look at the back of Prilosec box, it says you're not supposed to be on that medication for more than four days. Well, my doctor prescribed it to me for a whole entire month, simply because I have been to the hospital for heartburn a couple of times before this and obviously there's an underlying reason for that so they had me be on it for quite a while and I actually went to my follow-up appointment and they prescribed it to me for another month so three weeks into taking the medicine I actually gained weight stop I posted the video of me hitting my lowest weigh-in and I, I had weighed 159 point something at that point and within a one week period, I gained 11 pounds, you guys, 11 pounds in one week. And I wasn't doing anything differently. I could not figure out what was going on. My stomach literally erupted. I looked like I was nine months pregnant. Like my stomach was just so bloated and painful. It wasn't even funny. I wasn't able to go out and eat because I was in so much pain and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I didn't want to make another trip to the hospital. I felt like I had just been going to the doctor constantly and couldn't figure out what it was. So I started Googling things and eventually a week and a half after gaining all of that weight, I realized that there were actually forums about the omeprazole that say if, if taken longer than 14 days it can cause severe bloating and that basically you'll eat and and you feel full really quickly and that's what was happening to me and it's because that medicine like it, it helps your stomach acid to be less so that you're not having heartburn so right then and there I made the decision I was done with it I'm not taking it anymore and if I have heartburn I'll just suffer through and start taking it again um, and only take it for 14 days if I even need it for that long. So, no, two days after taking the medicine, I weighed in at 164. So, I weighed in the last three days at 165. And I was literally getting so down on myself. I just, like, I, I feel like I'm busting my ass at the gym. And nothing is working. Everything that I've done in the past is not working but today I honestly woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like you look fine like I look like I've been working out at the gym I can see a difference I can tell from my entry video compared to now that there is a difference so clearly what I'm doing is working and I basically had a conversation with myself and told myself you used to be the girl who never stepped on a scale. And then when I would step on a scale, it was shocking to me how much I, I weighed. Like a lot of times I weighed way less than I thought that I weighed. So it just kind of reminded me of like, I need to stop looking at the number on the scale. And just because Christian Guzman gets on the scale every single video and shows us this is what I weigh today, I don't need to do that. And if you feel better about yourself and you see that your hard work is showing results in pictures, but that scale number is not moving, that doesn't matter. Like you see the results, which means other people probably see the results too. And 
the number on the scale just doesn't matter. So for me, it's very hard because, I mean, that 11 pound weight gain put me 12 pounds over what I was allowed to be uh, for the army standard. And my instant thought was, great, I'm gonna have to get taped for height weight and what if I don't pass that? And when I look at myself, I'm like, there is nothing wrong with the way that I look and the shape that I am and, and everything right now. And if I don't pass tape uh, with the way I look now, then that's honestly like asinine. So and there are people who have to get height weighted that are way bigger than me and they still do fine. So I think I was just mentally like psyching myself out. There's no way that I wouldn't pass tape. I have an athletic build. When I first joined the army, I when I did height weight, I never passed ever. I had to get taped every single time and that just kind of stopped and I feel like it stopped because I wasn't at home and I was eating super unhealthy. Right now my body is just doing its own thing and my body being its own individual self and figuring itself out and see, seeing doctors for whatever I need to see them for is the only way to really get over that. So I don't intend at the end of this to be like super shredded like I wanted to be because at this point I'm just going through the motions, pushing myself at the gym and doing what I know has always worked for me and trying to remain positive. I see results in the mirror and that's all that matters and I hope that you guys know that too. Uh, you have to start somewhere and hopefully the doctors can help me figure out what's going on. But yeah, I guess when I do like my final video for this series, I'll be able to really tell how much I have or have not improved and all I can do is continue to push myself and stay positive. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions or like any of you have experienced any of this, I would love to hear from you in the comment section or message me, whatever, whatever you want, let me know. And I will always make sure to do my best to get back with you guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.